Guys, welcome back to another cooking with Debbie. It's me, Debbie. Hope you all are having a blessed day. Today, I'm making one of those simple dishes that I love to cook on weeknights. This is gonna include chicken, shrimp, ham, and this right here, guys. Let me tell you something. You always have to have this in your pantry. This is sun-dried tomatoes, julienne cut with herbs. This thing is amazing, especially with your pasta dishes. You can cook up some pasta with or without meat and you add this to it and man when I tell you the flavor is just off the chain so here we go here I have two boneless skinless chicken breasts that I washed and soaked in water and lemon juice and I have them cut in bite sized pieces I've also seasoned the chicken with a pinch of salt a pinch of black pepper a pinch of roasted garlic powder a pinch of Old Bay seasoning and a pinch of Creole seasoning. Here I also have one pound of shrimp, wash, peel, devein. I leave the tails on. You want to always make sure you get um, uncooked shrimp and not the cooked one because then your shrimp becomes tough. This has been seasoned with the exact same seasoning I did with the chicken. And now here I have about a cup and a half of this was smoked ham and I just diced them in, in the cubes as you can see. You can also use um, bacon if you wish. I would say about six to eight slices of bacon. You would cook and chop them up for later. So now that this is all ready to go guys, here I also have um, one medium onion diced and I also have about two teaspoons of, of garlic. And so let's get ready to cook. This is going to be a pasta dish, so of course, here I have a large stock pot over here with water, filled with water that I'm going to cook the um, linguine pasta in. I have a pack of linguine pasta here that I'm going to cook in that. And then this pot right here is getting heated up. I'm going to add about, coat the bottom with about maybe about two tablespoons of olive oil. And then to the olive oil, I'm going to add um, a half a stick of butter. Okay. And guys, um, this can be, I'm using the shrimp, the chicken, and the, the ham, but please understand. To make it simpler for yourselves, you can just use the chicken, you can just use the shrimp, and you can leave out the ham or the bacon. It's totally up to you, okay? I just have to do with, my husband for one is not a fan of shrimp, so when I fix his plate, I have to make sure there's no shrimp on his plate. What I was going to do actually was make two separate pots, one with shrimp and one with chicken, because I do have another pot of shrimp. But I decided just to make things easier for myself and just do one pot, and make sure I fix this plate without any shrimp. The girl got to do what she got to do. Also, if you all notice, I changed the name of my, pay, my, my YouTube channel, which will also be my website, to Life with Debbie. And the reason I did that is I love to encourage people. I haven't had what you would call the best of life. But through it all, I have triumphed. And I love to encourage other women. Being a parent today is, is absolutely... It's difficult. The truth is it's difficult. It's not easy. Let, some of us like to pretend it's not easy. Being a wife, oh my God, it's hard, okay? And so one of the things I love to do is I love to encourage and motivate other women. I love to bring women together for support causes. And so that is why I changed the name to Life with Debbie because I want to show you guys a little bit of the things I do to stay afloat every day. I love entrepreneurship. I love my family and I love God and so I just want to share some of those things with you guys in hopes that I can just help somebody out there maybe one day you're down and you will watch one of my videos and you're like hmm I really needed to hear that so that is my goal for this channel and I hope you will appreciate it and I thank you so very much for the support so let's get back to cooking okay just a moment please okay guys so um the directions are on the fettuccine it says to get it al dente perfection you need to cook it 12 to 13 minutes so let me put this in here 
And you want to try and separate them because you don't, they will stick together horribly, okay? So I like to use a tong and try to separate them. Okay, now 12 to 13 minutes, okay? I got to make sure I watch that. My Haley, my 17 year old, was supposed to come cook with me. She came home from school. She said she has no homework. But she seemed to, her dad is also registering her car. Oh my God, your 17 year old just got a car. You know how hard pounding that is? So I have the olive oil and the butter heated up over here. I'm going to brown the chicken. Just a nice little golden brown color on each side. This one. It's not seem to work as well as this one, so let's switch the tongue. I think it's time for my family to get me some kitchen gadgets. They know how much I love those. Okay. One thing I want to tell you, when you when I, I always wash my chicken either in white vinegar with water or lemon juice and water and for a dish like this i recommend before you after you wash the chicken before you cut it up pat it dry with maybe a paper towel or a clean kitchen top towel because you don't want to leave all that water on you because it gets in the way when, when you're browning it like this you know it cools down the pot and it causes your chicken to stick Okay. I don't know if it's safe for me to do this. Yeah. I'm still trying to make sure the pasta don't stick together. My, my, I have I have a total of five kids guys and um, the three at home are three girls 19, 17 and 13 I am sad to say they've never been to Jamaica however they like to think they're Jamaican even though their father is from Montana I'm the only one from Jamaica and so at times when I cook dishes like this they want to complain they want nothing but curry chicken oxtail, curry gold, and all that, you know, Jamaican stuff. And I'm like, y'all don't understand. I'm a mom. Sometimes I need, I just need something quick and simple. But luckily, this is one of those dishes that they love very much. I just want to brown them a little bit, give them a nice color. Doesn't take long at all. Maybe, maybe two to three minutes on each side. And with that butter you put it in, you add to the olive oil, it just helps to give it just a nice caramelized color. Not only is it ooh, amazing on the taste, but it also helps to give it that nice caramelized color that you want.
Okay, I think it's safe to say I'm done with the chicken. Okay. As you can see, I don't need any more grease in the pot. And just like it is, no cleaning it. I'm going to brown the shrimp. These, these are even quicker than, than the chicken, you know, about a minute or two on each side. Man, watching the time on that pasta. You don't want soggy pasta. Another thing is, it says 12 to 13 minutes for al dente, perfect al dente actually. I'm gonna do 10 minutes because I, I'm gonna add it in this afterwards, so I'm just gonna do 10 minutes. And I'm watching it. Okay guys, I think I have a little tip here I need to tend to, so I'll be back. Okay guys, I um took the pasta off and I, I'm I'm cooling it off right now and I'm gonna brown the um the ham now in the same pan. Now here's the trick with pasta. When you cook pasta and you don't want it to stick together after you you know, you remove it from the boiling water, you cool it down. You can add a smidgen of, of um, olive oil, canola oil, whatever oil you have to it, and mix it up real good, and that really helps the um, the pasta from sticking together. So that's just a tip for you in case you need to, you know.
Okay, I'm just going to cook this for about two minutes or so. I'm try to open this. Now, to this, I'm going to add the onion and the garlic and saute it all together. Let me add the chicken back in here. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of butter in here. This is low sodium homemade chicken broth. One cup of low sodium chicken broth. You always want to use low sodium chicken broth because then if you need more salt, you can. But if it's too much, then guess what? You can't, you can't take it out. Okay, let's bring this to a boil. Okay guys, now that it's boiling, I'm going to ha add our wonderful um, sun-dried tomatoes. And some heavy cream, thickening up. I'm going to start off with a cup of heavy cream. I need to stir this up so I can taste it and see what is missing. Just some spice which I'm, which I'm waiting on to add. So let me bring this up to a boil and then I'm going to bring the pasta over to add to it. 